Hey everyone, since the release of the Night and the Forge and the Fog chapter released, there's been a combination I've been wanting to try out since it came to live servers, and that's using the new perk Hubris on the Spirit. Hubris has the effect that whenever you are stunned by any means, including via pallets, head-on, or flashlight saves for instance, the survivor who did it will suffer from the exposed status effect for 20 seconds. Against the Spirit though, 20 seconds is a really long time to stay alive, especially with the other perks and add-ons that I plan on using with the perk Hubris. For the other perks, I'm going to be using Brutal Strength to break pallets 20% faster, Enduring to reduce the pallets' duration effects, and Spirit Fury to activate after I break two pallets, to instantly break the pallet after I'm stunned with them, while Spirit Fury is active. The nice thing about using it on the Spirit with this build is not only her mobility during her phase walking, but she also has two phone add-ons that play into the build. For this video, however, I'm going to be using the Kensuki Teacup, which upon breaking a pallet, I completely recover my phase walking ability, which is a really good effect with the build. For the second add-on, I'm going to be using the Kion Talisman for the extra duration while I phase walk, because it's overall it's a nice, really good, feels good kind of add-on to use, and it's one of my favorite ones to use on her. And yeah, with that being said, let's go have some pallet breaking fun now, shall we? Alright, we get the family residence. It seems like whenever I play this spirit, I get this map, or rather her realm, just more frequently. And I like this map and realm, so I like, it's very fitting. Right, I started towards the back end, so they're probably at one of these three generators. I'm gonna go to the one that's much more across the corner of the map from me, and see if I can find someone there. I was indeed correct. Hello there, Victorio. And there's a second person here. Hattie. Right, we got a combination of Hattie and Victorio. Why does that not surprise me? Because I'm like, I'm starting to see on Twitter and just like, on social media that people are shipping these two characters together. I'm like... I don't get it, but at the same time, it's a really cute ship, not gonna lie. No one's in the main building. They are over here, though. Hello there, Yunjin. Very nice. Go ahead and break this just to see how much you can regress a little bit. Alright, you're on the other side of this breakable wall. Very nice. Right, and I hear her grunts of pain bringing her over here. There we go. Not sure how I feel about this hook spawn. Like, it feels like you could easily body block the... What's it called? Gazebo really easily on either side as the killer. Potential energy user? Yes. Like, I barely heard him using potential energy on the generator before I grabbed him. Wow. I'm not even playing as Gen Grav Spirit and yet I get a Gen Grav. And also not even using the Fear and add-on to cancel out my directional phasing, so he should have heard me coming towards him unless he just didn't care. This generator's still regressing, although hasn't regressed really that much. Since it takes four seconds for a generator to regress by one percentage. Who is this? Hattie again. Nice to see you, my dear. Uh, Hattie? Why didn't you run towards the pallet? Pallet equals safety, Hattie. I feel bad because I'm like, I feel like I tunneled her, but at the same time, I know for a fact that I did not. Yep, I see them on this generator over here again. It is Yunjin again. No Vittorio, thank goodness. I'm going to see if I can actually get her to stun me real quick. Nope. Ooh, very nice. Very good reaction time. Drop the pallet, I dare you. Yeah, there we go. Get that Kensuki teacup value and instantly recharge my power. Ooh. She spun me around actually quite a bit. Off the window. Nope. She's actually going to outlast Hubris. Very impressive. What? What do they get stuck on? Well, she knows for a fact that I'm using the combination. That is why I really like the Caillou Talisman right there, for instances like that. It gives you an extra second of thinking of just where the survivor's position could be. Vault the window? Yep. Like, this Yunjin is actually very good right here. Like, she is giving me the works. Ah. 
Bravo, Yunjin. It's not that many people who can throw off my spirit like that. There you go. See, that extra second of duration just gives you that extra little bit of time to react to something. Fortunately, though, not unless she's injured and making rents of pain, she has to be almost dead. Almost. But yeah, because of her looping me right here, it's giving her teammates a lot of time to actually get the generators done. Like, this is something I should not have committed to, but at the same time, I'm enjoying it. Like, she is giving me the runaround, and I actually like that as someone who actually plays the spirit quite a bit. Like, it is not every day I get a survivor like this. Bravo. This makes me think that they are either either a spirit player, and they know how the counter works, or is very good at hearing and knows directional phasing. Hello, Claudette. I barely heard her footsteps towards the pallet. Up the pallet? No, she left the pallet, dang. Camp the pallet, camp the pallet, camp, camp the pallet. No, you pre dropped it. No, Claudette. No comp strats allowed. Ooh, you got a spooky lunchbox, I like that. Let's see, no one's working on this generator. Oh, last mine user, by the way. Also notice how Blastmine also activated Hubris, so I'm like, someone on the map is exposed right now. And for whatever reason, I think it's the person who just now unhooked Claudette. Nope. If it was Vittorio, it was not him. Unfortunately, doubling back soon and probably would have saved you. That generator is still regressing, so let's go on to one of these other two. Let's see, anyone working on these two? Nope. Not a survivor in sight, although the birds just now being readjusted there tells me someone was shortly here within the last. 10 to 15 seconds or so. Yeah. Someone's been moving along the side back here. Victoria's coming through here. Yes, he is. I really don't want to chase him and tunnel him out, but I'm like... There's only one generator remaining, and I feel like anything goes at this point in time. Ooh, nice. Barely out of reach, though. I have a feeling if I had Coup de Gras, I probably would have gotten it. I'm sorry, Vittorio, but I have to do this, man. No hard feelings. Someone's working on the generator here. Ooh, that was so close. I only think that should have been a gen grab. I'm not going to commit to the Hattie because I want to try and injure Yunjin as fast as possible. Bravo, she did it again. Managed to spin me around. Maybe that's how the new counter is to the spirit, is you spin her. The hell? Here, just ran a moaning in the distance and I'm like, okay, Hattie, I know you're here. I'm just strolling by my Facebook and I hear this random moaning go, uh -huh. Are you dead on hook? You are, excellent. That makes my job a little bit easier. And another blast mine. Hattie is the blast mine user. Very nice. Let's go ahead and look at the other two generators, see how they're doing. And they're not even being worked on. Yunjin Lee always super, being super aggressive this round. I like it. Reminds me of myself being super aggressive sometimes. 
I figured she wouldn't keep running, so I had to do the little short one just to make sure. Hey, Spirit Fury. Thank you so much for activating. Now, the Clada has managed to hide most of the game, so I doubt I'll be able to find her in the endgame collapse. I'm like, I don't even think she was working on either the other two generators this entire time. Oh, never mind. She's in this area. She was somewhere here because that generator had no progress on it earlier. Very nice. And with that, it is GG's. On to the next game. All right, we get the Garden of Joy, or as a lot of people like to call it, the Garden of Pain. Because of how loopable this map is with the interconnecting tiles as it is right here, for instance. There is quite a number of pallets on this map and breakable walls. Well, actually scratch that. Not really any breakable walls, to be honest. There's only really one and it's in the main building, second floor that no one really ever breaks. Although because I'm the spirit, the loopable areas in the main building are a lot more easy going for me, needless to say. Alright, we managed to find the survivors. Hello there, Dwight. Nice to see ya. Someone else is here. I know it. Yep. It's Meg. Drop the pallet. Nice. Oh, Meg. You should have held W to make distance on me. Fortune's gonna cost ya. Oil over camera, by the way. Very nice. Although, there's a hook literally not even 14 meters away from you. So it's really not gonna do you that much good. I'm gonna go back to that generator, see if Dwight got back on it. He did indeed, oh my god. Very nice. But very unlucky for you, Dwight. Right, I'm going to leave this area so they more or less get saved so we can have a longer game, hopefully. No one tries to Kermit themselves on hook. And someone went for Dwight instantly rather than Meg. I see scratch marks on a lot of them. Quite a lot of scratch marks indeed, and they decided to come back to the generator and taunt me. It's a lorry. Ooh, very nice. She's being quite stealthy, actually. Oh, she didn't throw the pallet. That is so unlucky. Throw the pallet, lorry, I dare you. Ooh, nice. That's when enduring really comes in handy right there with that pallet stun. Feels so good. And the Lori has Blast Mine. Very nice. Another Blast Mine user, even after its nerf. Right, I guess they're probably over here by the Killer Shack area now. Somebody was here and it's Nia. Oh hell yeah. Thank you, Spirit Fury. A bit unlucky though we couldn't get her while healthy for Hubris, but I will gladly take my Spirit Fury use. Right, they are in fact working on this generator right over here. Although I don't think it was anyone else other than Nia. They're probably going to be finishing this generator up right over here since it had a lot of progress on it. So let me quickly phase back to it. Yes, they are. No, Meg. Lori. That's a no-no, Lori. You shouldn't have committed to it. And you should definitely have not camped the pallet right there. Like, I heard the tiniest grunts of pain coming from Meg, and I knew, because I didn't see scratch marks beyond the pallet, that she had to be camping. Also, because there's like this like slight space in it that you can look through, and I saw her perfectly squared up on the other side. All right, I just heard someone walk by going for the save. At least I think that was for the save. 
And it's Nia, yeah, she's being the super stealthy one. But everyone's here. Come here, Nia. You quick and quiet and dance with me, actually. And live? Yeah, you've lived too. I heard just about everyone, but I really wanted to go after the Nia because I'm like, I feel like I would be tunneling the rest of them if I went for them. Oh, Meg. Lori! Bravo, actually. Although it's not going to do you much value, considering you really can't get away from me with my add-ons. Also, look at this annoying little... Not really a fat shame by any means. Just how they made this loop so much more safer, I guess you could say. Now I'm going to force you to use the pallet, Lori. Eventually, that is. Oh wow, she actually was pretty aware of what I was doing. I actually left the loop. I'm surprised. Alright, let's get some more Kensuke teacup value and chase after her. Ooh, nice. I hit her just in case so I didn't break my spirit theory automatically. She is a pretty interesting survivor looping. Unfortunately, though, Dead Heart's not going to save you all the way. Meg, what are you doing? Are you... No, Meg. <laughs> No body blocking against the spirit. Lori's dead on hook, and I think Meg's also dead. Although I heard some footsteps, and it has to be Nia. This thing is pretty good at actually trying to juke me. Like, the way her scratch marks disappear, and she's not making grunts of pain. Nearly as much by crouching, it's just really smart on her part. Ooh, dang, unfortunately I got caught right there. Although I actually would prefer to get Meg in this location area because there's more hooks in this area. She get the window? Yeah, she gets the window. Okay, let's go up ahead and phase on her. Smart girl, she's not camping the pallet, so she's learned from last time. Hell yeah. Getting more spirit fury value. Can I get this? Oh, so close. Oh, that was so close, indeed. They're probably gonna get the last generator powered. But props to them, they all played very well for the most part. Nope, they didn't get but Dwight decided to commit to him. Uh, Dwight, what's your plan here? I'm really surprised they haven't gotten the main building generator done. It seems like one of the first ones that would be done. But maybe they didn't know how to space them out and just decided not to do it. That is kind of a low bearing. Okay, new never mind then. I was gonna say it's a low bearing fruit because of how easy and safe it is to do that particular generator. They're both dead on hook, but I'm going to go after Nia. Unfortunately though, she does not make the paladin. And I don't think Dwight has any way of healing himself, so... Okay, then. Dwight, you're so precious, you know that? Dwight, you're so precious. I should be able to easily phase up on him. How could you not like baby Dweets? They are so adorable. Dwight, do you want this? Dwight. 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 Come get this. Take it. 
Take it. Yes, yes, yes. There you go. Hi, so precious. I'm going to give them a hatch ultimately if I can find him. I bet I'm going to let him continue repairing the generator or close the hatch and let him open the exit gate essentially. So with that, it's going to be GG's from here. I would say overall, we had a lot of fun with this add-on. It actually made some people quite displeased that they ended up desing because of it. But yeah, I had fun with this build and I hope you guys had fun watching. I am E plus than 3, and I will see you next time. Goodbye for now.